lot of history. In a town sprinkled with character. <laughs> from its people to its bedroom communities. I believe it came about around, somewhere around 1985. One name stands alone. Living out by Skunk Hollow Road and driving past Pickles Gap, Toad Suck is just another place in Faulkner County. Toad Suck. When you first heard that, what was your initial thought? Kind of yuck, but... <laughs> but where, oh where, does a one-of-a-kind name like that come from? Do you know the origin of the word Toad Suck? Well, I think it means fun. We made it our mission to find out. I have no idea. <laughs> no, I don't know the origin. So since no one on the street could help us with the information we were looking for, we decided to pull up a chair and do some of our own research at the local library. After typing in Toad Suck into the library directory, two books came to know, titled The Saga of Toad Suck Days. And if you open it up to page 23, you'll find this passage that reads, While porting the mail in 1853, I first heard the toad suck tale about, about river rustabouts at the tavern near Yondale. A quick phone call later and poof, the book's author, Dr. Cecil McDermott, had arrived to drop some knowledge. The bridge was, was built. There was probably state and federal money. Wait, bridge? What? It, toad suck was the name of the bridge totally independent of the frog. Well, it wasn't an answer, but the public library gave us a pretty good starting place. Now let's go somewhere that will definitely know the correct answer. This is a doctor's office exhibit. The Faulkner County Museum. Lenita Langley Ware is the director, and could she give us an answer? I guess you could call it an urban legend. You bet. When um, boat traffic traveling on the river would get to a certain point, the river would be dried up and they couldn't navigate. So they would all put out to the side and they would go to the local tavern and they would drink beer until they swelled up like toads. <laughs> no way. That's, that's what I've always heard my whole life. Of course we needed to verify our information, so we went back to Dr. McDermott. Sucking on spirited filled jugs. jugs. They, like old river toads, did swell. And would you look at that, an old folklore written into history, adding to the unique and endearing character that can only be described as Conway.